Today on Detailed Builds, we'll take an idea and turn it into an absolute beauty of a starter home. Welcome everyone, I'm Cyber Cherry, and stick with me to level up our building skills through the use of a few brain cells and some design concepts. Function, shape, color, and texture. First off, function. What is the purpose of a starter house? We're just talking the basics here. A bedroom, storage, and some extra room for crafting. This will set the boundaries and the limits on the decorative things that we can do. Now to shape, often derived from function. So we have a boring rectangle. What's twice as interesting? How about two of them? Just with this, we're able to break symmetry. It's best to work with odd block numbers. If we take this shape vertical, you'll be able to see the different sight lines. With a few more corners, it can force depth as we wander around the shape. For the roof, we're keeping it simple with an A-frame. Now, obviously we can't get away with a wool building. It's time for color. Let's go with warm colors like reds and browns. Stone is acting as our strong foundation. Mud serves as a dusty bottom and red terracotta is the canvas for the walls and the deep slate for the roof. I don't know what it is, but a dark roof just seems to look better to me. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this looks pretty weird. We need texture. By expanding our block palette, we'll push our colors in either direction, lighter, darker, and with variation. When I build, I tend to look at it like painting in 3D. Starting with stone and our brown gradient, let's take a step back and decide where we want the indications of larger bricks. So add in variance and gradient until the stark differences are more muted. Again, every once in a while, take a step back and have a look. I might have slightly overdone it with the texture, but you know what? It works for me. When possible, force shadows into flat areas. For example, there's no roof overhang on the front like there is on the side. With a few strip mango logs, we can get instant depth. As for the highlights, imagine where the sun will hit the side of the building for our final shine. We're almost 100% by using stairs, fences, gates, and signs add depth and detail to the windows and roof. There we have it, folks. Through function, shape, color, and texture, we've transformed an idea into a detailed build. We switch to my survival world now. As you can see, I use this creative process as a planning tool in my Let's Play. If you're interested, I'd love to see you over there. Good luck on your future builds. I'd love to see and hear how it goes. I'm Cyber Cherry, and I'll see you in the next one.